please, go wild, go crazy, and welcome Leicester City's James Madison! <laughs> You smell unbelievable. Stop it, Jimmy. Absolutely gorgeous. Soccer in debut, mate. Are you being looked after? Yeah. Oh, I've been looked after by the fellas, yeah. Had a croissant and a coffee on arrival. Oh, croissant <laughs> and a coffee. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of treatment. Uh, thanks for being here, cos, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have turned up after, uh, you know, a defeat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being serious, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, trust me. Um, it was... It was... I mean, you had a lot of the ball, didn't you? A lot of pressure, but it just yeah. it was one of those games, wasn't it? It was like, you know, they say if you're still playing now, you probably wouldn't have scored. <laughs> you know, it, it was just... It, one... <laughs> it's it's not you start it's getting... Are you all good? <laughs> 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 What I'm saying, what I'm saying is it just wasn't your night. Yeah, it wasn't, Penis. Um, they played a 5-4-1 slow block. We knew what to expect, and like you said, we had a lot of the ball and stuff, but it was... We never really troubled Bournemouth, um, Newcastle. And uh, Rafa got his tactical yeah. stuff spot on, so they were hard to break down. I mean, you've taken to the Premier League like a, like a, a, a fox to water. Nice. Um, oh. I think that's the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> um, seven goals so far in your debut season. How are you finding the step up to the Premier League? It's been a, it's been a brilliant one, yeah, to be honest. Um, obviously, you never know what to expect, because I've never played in the Premier League before, and uh, I always watch it and stuff. But I've, I've played in League One, the Championship in Scotland, but... The Premier League's the best league in the world, ain't it? And yeah. I've enjoyed every second of it, to be honest. Um, it's obviously a big step up in quality, pace, what is the power. I think I get asked that question a lot, and I think the main difference for me is like the pace and the power of the players. Like, and obviously I know it's cliche to say, but there's never an easy game. And like that showed That's yesterday, like Newcastle yeah. are down, quite down there, and it was one of the toughest games I've had. So, yeah. but the quality for us is just just magnificent, isn't it? And how has that affected the way you play your game? You know, because you've been playing that ten roll. Yeah. And I was talking to Fenners oh, yeah. yesterday that. Mate, I've played there, and that is the hardest position on the park, in my opinion. Yeah, I started off as a, as a 10 this, this year, early on in the year, and I was getting, I was getting joy, to be honest. Um, right. Scored a few goals early on, a few assists and stuff, and then obviously teams start, like, sussing you out a little bit and, yeah. and, and doing stuff to stop you, stop you running the show. So um, I've had to adapt a little bit, but... Jim, just, I just... You just explain to, 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 to us and the viewers why that... You found that... Because you, you played in that role, didn't you, a few See, times? Not, a lot of people watching it think the 10 row is nice and easy, you can have a cruise up, this and that. But when you... One, they're cuter in the Premier League. Two, they're six foot three, absolute monsters. Yeah. You know, yeah. coming through the back of you. Remember, your back's the place. You've got to be on the swivel, what I call the fighter pilot neck, 24-7. <laughs> and he does it quite... It, it's his game, right? But I'm telling you, it wasn't my game. And I hated it. I lasted six games. And I went back <laughs> as an eight. And all of a sudden, when you become a number eight, everything's in front of you and yeah. it's a lot easier. So. Yeah, that's, that's what I found as well. Obviously, I'm playing as an eight recently and in the back end of Claude Puel and yeah. uh, the start of Brendan Rodgers, I've been playing as a number eight, which, like you said, is a bit different. Because when you're in that ten role, you've got... Like we said earlier, you're back to play a lot. You're having to receive... You're having to use your wing mirrors and stuff. Honestly, so. it's a nightmare. But um, that number eight role, you can pick up a bit deeper, you have a bit more licence and... Get a bit more ball. Bit more exactly. Play. And since Shorey Tielemans has come in, it's been... We've had a really good balance, obviously, last you night. You love the football, though, didn't you? I love, the, I love that bag <laughs> of that, yeah. <laughs> so, let's, let's forget last night, but, you know, before... Stop Brendan, mentioning Br it. Brendan's had a, a, a <laughs> fantastic start, uh, came in six weeks ago. Um, what's he changed around, around the place and in, and in training since, since he took over? Well, it's been a big uplift, to be honest. I mean, I've got a lot of respect for Claude Puel. He obviously brought me to the football club and yeah. gave me my opportunity in the Premier League, so I'd never speak a bad word about him. But there's been an uplift around the place and intensity. Standards have, have come higher now and the quality in training has really been up. So um, it's a real good feel factor around the place at the minute. And what's he specifically said to you? And how, how did he go about that? Did he, has he had a chat with you? And did he, did he yeah. pull you in his office, have a cup of tea? Or well, how did it... Yeah, did it I, I love out? football fans, so he pulled me in the office and we just talked football for yeah. about 45 nice. minutes, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's top man and we've had a good few football chats about... No, but come on, in but, general. Right, but what, yeah, I know you obviously, you know, you, I don't want you to tell me exactly what he said, but tell me exactly what he said. What, about how... <laughs> 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 you start on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Is that what he yeah. said? <laughs> nah, he, we've, we've, uh, we've had a few chats about, obviously, I've dropped, like I just said, we've, I've dropped into that number eight role, so we've talked about a few tactical things within that role, because obviously it's different out of possession than a 10. Um, talked about, obviously, get, getting my numbers up, goals and assists, because that's yeah. what it's about, that's what you get judged on. And yeah. 
I've scored a couple since he's come in, a few assists and stuff as well. So it's going well, yeah. Because he likes to play three eights, doesn't he? he play, yeah, he plays one Compact. holder and like two eights, but obviously his, his middle player's got to be able to, he calls it the, the playmaker or whatever he calls it. And, he has to be able to control the game. Okay. And um, me and Yuri Tielemans have been ahead of Wilfred and Didi at the minute. But we've got a good balance in there and yeah. we're all footballing, footballing lads, so yeah. it's enjoyable. There's clearly like an amazing team spirit at Leicester. I think that's, that's obvious. You moved there in the summer. Um, did you have to do an initiation? I did, yeah. Uh, what, what did you have to do? I had to uh, sing on pre-season tour in France. So what did Enrique, you have to sing? Enrique Iglesias' hero. Oh. <laughs> it's a lovely song. Can, um, We've got a mic. Uh, yeah, um, uh, well, how, how does it go? Can you I just don't give know us, it. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, I, uh, you can't it's, ring, it, it's ringing a bell, but could you... Can be hero, baby? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you've also got a bit. You've got a... Nah, I've got a long way, to be honest. <laughs> Love a bit of karaoke at three in the morning, don't you? It's getting warmed up. Uh, well, you know, you've proved that you do like a little bit of a Pri, a little bit of a fun, um, <laughs> with um, your very own version of um, Knock and Run. With a, with, a, with a bucket oh, of water. Damari, yeah. um, <laughs> the victim, um, and actually fuming now, Damari Gray. Let's have a look at this. Whose idea was this? Mine, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> there was a few involved, though. I think you see Danny Simpson, Wes Morgan, Ben Chilwell floating about. I like this bit here, a little, a little touch. <laughs> All bomb off. It was only meant to be the water trick. Did, did you intend the door bit as well, though? <laughs> Did you know the dog was going to show? Oh, I didn't, to be honest. That was just an added bonus. Um, I know Damari will be watching, so uh, yeah, you would so, have enjoyed that one. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of this stat, and just pretend you aren't, if, if, if you do know it. Um, but James Madison is officially the most creative player in all major European leagues this season, creating 93 goal-scoring chances. <laughs> than Lionel Messi and Eden Hazard. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I didn't know that. That's a stat and a half. That is a stat, stat and a half. 93 goal-scoring chances. Wowzers. Yeah, that's what I'm in the team for. You know, like, when I'm put in that position, whether it's a 10 or an 8, it's my job to create chances for Jamie Vardy, the wingers, centre-halves from set pieces. And we want so. you to be creating chances for England as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Gareth, if you watch, and he does yeah, watch, yeah, doesn't sure. he? Um, have, a, you know, have a word. About time we've got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy's going to take notice of you. What is that, mate? <laughs> All right. Uh, Jimmy with his England tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> Not one, three. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be long. But the time being, James Madison will. Yeah.